All right, YouTube. We're dealing with a four-stroke Jet Moto GY6 engine. Um, what happened is, is that I, I pretty much uh, wasn't getting no start. I was starting off with a lot of oil leaking. You know they do that. Um, I'll make another video about the catch cam. Catch cam you can put there. You know, basically that. The oil comes up out of here and it comes up out this tube and it goes up into that box fed through that thing and whatever so the catch cam hooks up to this i'll go on another video about showing y'all about the catch cam so the timing is off okay you see these dots i'm gonna get this you see these dots right here there's a dot here then there's a dot here there's supposed to be a dot here now i got it set right where i want to show it but well, I want to show it. So check this out. This is what I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna use the kickstart just to go forward. You can do that. Just just gently go. So this is how it's supposed to be looking. Alright. Alright, we went a little bit too far. Let's try to catch up. I gotta get a um a different camera to show better. Alright, one hand band. It's supposed to be like that. You see how you got the thing there, the dot there dot there and then you got the hole here they say in the other ones you got to have the imprint here let me tell you guys something this is the original ones this got the imprint you must have that dot here lined up with this take off those four bolts it's real easy to take it's a bolt here it's a bolt here it's a bolt here and it's a bolt here but the big thing about everything is is this this is the big thing about everything your timing marks your timing marks have to be on point. You guys see I got the little shebang there going up. I at first I was going to change this. Then I was going to change this. I said, no, nah, that's not the problem. Now, I know I'm low on gas, but I got gas spitting out. When gas spits out, that is your timing, fellas and ladies. So check this out. Now it's lined up. This is the lineup bar. It's a little bar right here. It's on top of these screws. It's a little lineup bar. And that lineup bar has to match up. With, let me flip the camera. Okay, it's the lower line, not the upper line. The lower line with that. So I spun this around. See my bad paint job. <laughs> Looks cool though when it's on. So I spun that around in the front with the dots. Remember up there with the kickstart, and it's right there. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna hook everything back up so you guys can know. And again, sponsored by Makita. You feel me? Got the Makita here. Uh, Makita been good to me. So, And while you're down there, you just want to just wipe up any type of oil marks or anything to do with the oil. Just, you know, it's a little dusty right here. I've been rolling around, having fun. But, yeah, and you just want to just look around with these wires and make sure everything's plugged in right and the free of dust and debris. If you got some electronic spray, just do it now. We're renderizing. I'm going to show you how to hook these taillights to make them all sync in a minute. But until then... Trust me, this stuff works, man. The timing is on right now. So that's where the timing is at. That's why I wanted this right, right on top. Right top dead center. Right now. It's top dead. I wanted that pretty good, YouTube. So either way, it's going to be right in the punch. Boom, boom. That's what I want. I want that. So that's what's up, y'all. Another one.